<laughs> Am I too slow for you? Wanted to show you all how we got the E-Flight Viper set up with the FPV that you saw in the video. We're using the DJI 03 system and have a DIY mount on the tail. So I'm gonna give you a full list of all the tools we used, all the equipment we used, and how we have it mounted. It's really simple. It's honestly a Band-Aid solution. It could be a lot better, but this is our version one of it. But the results were incredible and made me so excited about the future. So As you can see here, we have the DJI O3 camera. We have a battery to power the air unit here. The air unit can take up to 6S voltage. I think it can take two to 6S. We just have a little 3S 550 mAh battery. And the antenna's hanging out the back. And then we have balsa wood and hot glue, quite literally, um, holding it on there. All the equipment and tools we used consisted of hot glue, balsa wood, O3 air unit, a soldering iron, and a battery. Uh, a LiPo battery, a 3S battery to be more specific. The process that went down was we wanted to find a good place to mount the camera. The somewhere you think would be a good idea in theory would be right on the nose because the Viper has this removable nose cone like that. So maybe you can make a mount right there, stick it right on there. However, that's cool and all and you would have a perfectly unobstructed view but it wouldn't necessarily feel like you're on the plane. We wanted to feel like we were sitting on this plane with the goggles on. So the next place you would think would be maybe in the canopy, but then we'd have to cut up the canopy of this Viper that, and they're back ordered right now, or maybe up here. But then the issue is if, you mount, if we mounted the system right here, then you'd have to get it up high somehow to be able to look down on the plane. Otherwise it'd be really hard or your field of view would not be fantastic. So this is where this idea came from. This allows the camera to get that view that you see here that's so nice looking down on the plane. You have great field of view up and around where you're flying and it, again you get that feeling like you're sitting there on the tail. The only material we used here is we got a piece of balsa wood that slides over the tail like this. So you'll see how there's kind of a V cut in there. So it slides over the rudder like so and we lined it up right with this black stripe as you can see pretty much. Got as level as we can. And then one issue that we thought we would have is, you know, this is basically like a big wind sail. Uh, so we were worried that it would get pulled up and off and that would be bad. So AJ took a 90 degree piece right here to give it some structure like so. And that helped a lot. We have that also helped with vibrations. We had a little bit of here and there, but that's, uh, I believe, mostly from the rudder, uh, just some flex in inherently. Another problem we were worried about is, you know, Balsa wood is, is sturdy and all, but um, we needed some extra rigidity. So we just got some scrap here and mounted it across there on both the left and the right. So that just gives us a little bit of extra rigidity here. And we had absolutely zero problems uh, throughout the, I'd say we have about 15 flights on the system now. It's held up great. The only time we had anything scary was we didn't check the uh, flight pack for the O3 system and after about four or five flights, it actually died on us in the air. So you need to change those out and there's your answer. You can fly about four flights before needing to change that battery. And it's just secured on there with Velcro so you can remove the batteries real easy. The O3 system is held on with double-sided tape and the O3 camera is held on with more hot glue. So if you wanted to make your own, what you do is just get some balsa wood and then cut out a shape just like so with a little V that comes over here over the rudder. Having a platform on either side for a battery in the O3 system and then a little spot out here in the front for your camera. Um, I don't have a ruler on me but it looks like it's about three finger uh, lengths long as far out to the camera and then about two fingers on either side. That's some uh, country boy measuring if, to say the least. Um, we're, we haven't done any antenna mounting, but that is definitely something we're going to do going forward. And then for your O3 system, you'll just get your pin out, which I'm putting up here. You're going to get the positive in the ground, and you can solder a connector of your choice. We did XT30 because we had so many batteries like this. Plug it in, power it on. Uh, make sure you go into the O3 settings and turn off low power on disarm. That'll give you higher power output. Um, overheating is something you need to think about, especially when sitting on the ground for a long time. So plug it in, get everything going. I know it's going to be cool to look at it, but just take off and you shouldn't have any problems when flying. But on the ground, you could have some overheating issues. And other than that, 
it just works and it's so fun and we did formation and it, we are so excited about this project. Going forward, we're gonna try and get head tracking and maybe integrated power so we don't have to have an external battery. There's, there's a, you know, this is just the very first step to a long process of something we're really excited about. But wanted to make a video to show you step one of the most simple DIY version that turns your Viper or any plane into an FPV plane. We didn't put a different receiver in it. We didn't have to do any extra wiring. We literally just got balsa wood and hot glue, made a little platform, got our O3 system on there with double-sided tape and hot glue, stuck it on there, have a battery for external power, plug that in, and just went and flew. It was an absolute ball. AJ and myself had a, so much fun with it and doing formation with Cheatham and several other pilots. So 100% recommend you do this. If you do, make sure to tag me, show me. I wanna see what you guys come up with, what cool planes you put it on. And I would imagine you'll see much more content from me on uh, the various projects we end up with this. But I say our dream is to have two, three, four of these Vipers or planes similar with head tracking on there and do full formation flights like the these, I think it's, Blackhawk, I'll put a link to their description. There's these group of guys in Europe who do just that and are really, really good. Uh, I think they're from Europe, don't hold me on to that. And we wanna do just that and do some really cool formation stuff. So this is just the beginning, the first dipping our toes into it. We're really excited and now we're gonna go all in. Um, but this is the simplest one and of course doing head tracking and doing all these other things is gonna be much more complex. But if you wanna turn your Viper or any other plane FPV, this is the easiest, fastest, cheapest way to do it. Thanks for watching. And if you want to pick up an O3 Air Unit, I think we just got them in stock at the 533 store. And if you have any questions, reach out to me on Instagram or anything like that. I'm happy to help you get up in the air and would love to see more of these FPV planes flying around. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And enjoy some more footage of us doing formation and piddling around with this FPV bike. See you guys. There are so many things that I